GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Robert from Raj King Coast, Ghana, and you are watching GH Dog TV, the best. Welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. If this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at GH Dog Blogger. And then you log on to our official website at www.ghdogblogger.com. This program is proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog feed and puppy milk you want the right dog feed for your dogs with the right nutritional content to help them grow well you also have puppies you want the right puppy milk for them just link up with eminent dog feed and puppy milk their number is on our screen 0244-820-350 0244-820-350 my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger let's go for a quick commercial break we'll be back shortly Looking for a complete balanced and highly nutritious feed for your dogs? Then your answer is here. Feed Eminent. Carefully composed and filled with a high level of protein of animal origin, Eminent Dog Feed provides your dogs with an adequate amount of energy to keep them in the perfect condition. Contact Eminent Dog Feed on 0244-820-350. Looking for quality? Feed Eminent. Welcome back to the show. Today I'm at a kennel. Yes, today I'm at a kennel and trust me, you're going to love the dogs right here and the boss man right here as well. But before, just in case you want to link up with GH Dog TV, pick the number on our screen 055 328 4056. 055 328 4056. Five six. Now allow me to introduce my guest for today's show. Boss, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I think this is the second time I'm having you on the show. Yes, this is the second time. The first one was at the Boabula Prison. And this is the first time you are visiting us. Yes, this is the first time I'm visiting this kennel. And the name of this kennel is Mass Rot Kennel. Mass Rot Kennel. And trust me, you're going to love the dogs. And I can see this is not the dog you brought for the appraisal. No, this is a different one. Zeke was the one I brought for the appraisal. He's in there. And this is Lesnar. Brambos Lesnar. Also from South Africa. Okay. I've seen a lot of dogs right here and my lovely viewers, I know they can't wait to check out all of the dogs right here at the kennel. But then before we talk about the dogs and everything, I'd like you to introduce yourself once again to my lovely viewers. Maybe this is the first time somebody's seeing you and the person might not have watched the Boa Bola appraisal. So I'd like you to introduce yourself once again. Okay, my name is Ransford Jomeku and then most people know me as Ranzi and then I'm the, let's say, the CEO of Masrat Kennel. So, for, for how long have you been breeding dogs? Okay, so we started, uh, Mashworth Kendall started in 2016. Yeah, 2016. We actually started, um, let's say, when I got admission to uh, UCC, and then uh, there was this internship that we had to do, and I decided to do my art of vet. So, that was the first time I, then I met dogs, and then the love for dogs grew. So, we bought our first dog, actually, it was a mishpeed, it was a boar bull and a rottweiler. We bought it in 2015. Yeah. So that was where the love for dogs started. Started. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up from there and all of that. But um, if I'm getting it well, you didn't grow up with dogs at home or something of that sort? No, no, we didn't grow up with dogs at all. We didn't grow up with dogs. It was um, my course I did and then the attachments I went to do. That's how come I got to meet dogs and then I started loving dogs from there. So it wasn't even about the dogs. That was... Um, why you did your internship at the vet? At first, it wasn't even about the dog. I just wanted to 
be at the vet. I don't know. It was just a feeling. I wanted to be at the vet. So when I got to the vet, people were bringing in dogs day in and day out. And I was getting to handle them, take care of some of them. That was where the love developed. <laughs> so do you, do you, I'm loving the story. So did you see a particular breed and that was, that got you to love them? Or was there something that happened that really got you? What really got me was um, a water trailer. There was this guy, I know most people will know him. He's Reggie. He used to live on our stretch. And then he had a water trailer meal. And then he brings it out once in a while. So when this passed, if I am outside, I'll run and go call my brother. And we'll come and look at the dog. And then we'll just be loving the dog. So that was that was how come I fell in love with water It was the first dog I, I saw. It was the water that got you to love dogs uh, you mentioned something about your neighborhood i think i forgot to mention the location so i'd like you to spell it out to my lovely viewers we are in dansoman dansoman let's say old dansoman um zone six but most people given direction it's i don't know at times it's not on the map so i like to use dansoman last stop it's not far from us so the location is dansoman in the greater accra region of ghana um, i think in the previous episodes what i've noticed is I dropped the numbers of the breeders, but then people still keep asking um, their contacts and everything. So I'm just dropping the number on our screen right now. I'm dropping Mashrot Kennel's number on the screen right now. So as we'll be having the conversation, the number will be flowing through because I can see not most of the people can really wait to get get to the part where we drop the contact. <laughs> so <laughs> so we we'll continue with our conversation. So you seen the rot and then you decided to get um, a rot for yourself. So which dog was the first dog you got? It was a it was a female Nikki. She was a Boabu mixed with a rot. That was the first dog we actually got. And then later on, we got a shepherd. And then we started going out to shows, meeting people. People started talking about pedigree dogs. And I was like, the dogs I have in my house, they are not pedigree. They are all mixed breed. And then looking at the business aspect, I'm selling lower. And the pedigree is selling higher. They are eating the same food. So why don't I just get rid of them and do the right thing? So that was when. I and my brother started scouting the nets for pedigree Rottweilers and then we met, um, let's say we met um, Carlos. My brother called him and then we chatted and then he showed us a female. That was our first female and I know most of you will know her, Galaxy House of Natalie. We got her when she was eight months. Yeah, and she's now, she's now, like, she's now six, six or seven years old now. Yeah. Wow, so you got Natalie. Um, House of Ego. What was the name of the dog? Galaxy of House Natalie. Galaxy of House Natalie. Okay, okay, okay. So you get in the pedigree dog for the first time. How was the feeling like? It, it was. It was so exciting because I had seen the mixed breed and I saw this one at eight months and she was huge and beautiful, and we couldn't wait to always take her for a walk. We were always going for a walk, <laughs> and then and, and I um, I started. Let's see, people started adding me to the groups and I just started seeing more dogs and then I saw a boom mastiff and I got in love with that one too. And we bought a boom mastiff in addition to Galaxy. So we are having two, a boom mastiff and then a rat. And then I met um, Peter and that was when we had to think of a kennel name and I, that was a, it was a hell of a job with, between I, my brother and then my dad. So I was just there and I was like, okay. So a boo, a, boo, a, a boo mastiff is a mastiff and then we have a Rottweiler. Why don't we take parts of their name and then just fuse them? That was how come Masrot was developed. So mastiffs and Rottweilers. And then that's Masrot. Okay, 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 okay. Lovely views. This is, this is very interesting. Coming, coming from the man, Ranzi, right here. It was a combination of the mastiff and the rot. But honestly speaking, if you hadn't mentioned this, I thought this cannot all... If I hadn't come here or seen you, I met you at the Boa Bula Preza, I thought that you were just into Rottweilers alone. Okay, so um, when we started with uh, Boo Mastiff and then Rottweiler, we had a first litter from the Boo Mastiff. It didn't go well. And uh, what happened? She fell ill and we had to put her down. And so we were left with only the Rottweiler, that was Galaxy. And then we decided to add more Rottweilers to it because we didn't let's say the love for the mastiff went away so we did the rottweilers for a long while that's how come people know we do only rottweilers and then i added the boabu just last year this was the first boabu i actually got let's now i started with the male instead of a female 
Wow. So this is the first boabu you got. And now there are lots of boabus here. Now I think we have five or so more boabus here. If I'm getting it well, the, the, the bull mastiff didn't go well for you. So so I was about to ask that um, you started with a bull mastiff, but there are no bull mastiffs here. Yeah, alongside the bull well, and then the love, the love just went away. Come on. Lovely viewers, check out check out this beautiful dog right here. The first boar bull Ranzi got right here. Oh, we'll, we'll check you out. We'll check you out soon. Please, please come down fast. Huh? People see their size and then they think they are very aggressive and scary. They are just like, they are just big teddy bears. That's all. That's what they are. They are just big teddy bears. You can see what they just do to me every day, every time. Come on. Well, I, I, I love this dog right here. And I think there's another one too. I've seen there. My lovely viewers, I'm sure you can't also wait to see that beautiful dog right there as well. So, Ranzi, we, we are continuing with the, um, the interview. So, after getting the Boabu, how was the experience like as well? After getting the Boabu, um, let's see, my love for them grew because of their size. And then, they, they are not aggressive. They are very, very calm family dogs. Depending on the person raising them, that's also a factor. They are very, very calm and they're very, very loving. What attracted you about the Boabu? Is it because of their size, their intimidating look? The size. The size. And and uh, let's see. They are just fun to be with. They are just fun to be with. Yeah. Nice one. And what about the rot while I how how is your experience with the rot too? Since you have been doing the rot for a long time. My experience with them is very, very good. I up to now it's still my first love. I still love the rot while I no matter what happens there. They are the best. <laughs> So between the the Boabu and the Rottweiler, if I'm to ask you to choose between them, which one are you going to choose? I'll choose the Rottweiler any day, <laughs> any day, any time. Well, any reason? Is it because you're the you're the PRO for the Rottweiler Club of Ghana? No, 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 not that, not that. Um, everyone that sees a Rottweiler is just amazed because let's say a lot of people have seen Boabus, but they haven't seen good Rottweilers. So as soon as they see good Rottweilers, they'll be like, wow. And then they just fall in love. And Rottweiler is wholly black and tan. You don't have color mixes. With Boabus, you have plenty colors. But Rottweiler is just majestic black and tan. I think I've even seen a Brendel Boabo inside looking very beautiful, majestic, and all of that. Lovely viewers, trust me, you, 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 you can't, you just can't wait to have these dogs. So, Ranzi, um, I know most of um, the people when they're looking for dogs, they look out for dogs that can be guard dogs and stuff like that. So if somebody reaches out to you that um, the person is looking out for a dog to guard the home, you are into Rottweilers and Boabos, which one would you recommend to them and why? Let me say, um, every dog can do anything you want it to do depending on how you are raising it. You can't just buy a dog and just leave it to be inside a cage 24 7 and then expect it to be laughing it might be aggressive so when getting a dog you have to look at your lifestyle are you too busy to play with it are you too um, free always with it? it it really matters and what do you want to, to do for you if you want it to be a guard dog there are trainers around that you can contact that can help you train a dog to be what you want it to be Beautiful, lovely viewers. I, I love how this dog has really stood up right here. Let, let, let's check out the features of this beautiful dog right here. I'm right here at Masrot Kennel. And trust me, we'll, we'll, we'll be done with the interview soon and then we'll get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs and everything. Well, lovely viewers, check, check out, check out, listener out. In case this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And we are also proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Puppy Milk. You want the right dog feed for your dogs, just link up with Eminent Dog Feed and Puppy Milk. Their number is on our screen 0244-820-350. 0244-820-350. Now, we'll be, we'll be wrapping up the interview very soon. But I'm right here. I'll be having a little conversation with um, Mr. Ranzi right here. Now, Ranzi, before we check out the dogs and everything, I'd like you to tell us something about this beautiful dog right here. Let's talk about this dog before we go inside. So, um, here's Bambos Lesnar, and then his appraisal score is 80.5. And here's our first that we ever got from South Africa Street. And he has been giving us quite a number of puppies. We have his puppies inside there. We have puppies of him currently. Uh, we have puppies of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, around six months now. 
what you like about this though? Oh, the way <laughs> like he's 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 huge. People see him and they are scared because he has a big head and stuff. But he's just he's just a lovely baby. He's just a loving baby and he's very obedient. Just that when he's playing, he's when he's playing, he's like he's rough and playing. <laughs> Let's check out. Let's check a view of this beautiful dog right here with Ranzi. Even before we, we we get inside and check out all of the dogs. So um, Ranzi, talking about the dog breeding as well. Um, have you had any challenges so far since you started breeding? There are so many challenges. People sit back and then they think, oh, because he sells a puppy for this price and stuff, he's making a lot of money. There are a lot of challenges. There are times you lose a lot of puppies. There are times your stud would be disappointing you, maybe because he had an infection or something, if you didn't do your right, if you didn't put the right things in place. Like, um, often a stud service to someone, you have to let the person check his or her female before bringing it. Some people just follow money and then they leave that out without checking. You know? So that can cost you a lot. And then they are, they are sick. And let's say they have their, also, the puppies have their diseases they also go through that can make you, um, what you call it, lose them. And then when you don't have your females checked, like by a vet, most times they do correct medications, you might be just crossing and then it wouldn't pick. That's, that's very true. So if somebody is seeing dog breeding and the person is thinking about the money aspect, what message do you have for that person? All I say, most of the times, people that come to me like for advice, I just tell them, just take your time. At least one or two for now, for the start, is very, very, very essential. I had, um, let's say, before I started breeding the pedigree dogs, I had got a little experience from the mixed breed. So let's say I use that as my starting point to get um, experience with um, breeding um, pedigree dogs. Because yeah. with that, um, what I had to learn and what I had to ask from people, I do, I did. So now when I encounter certain problems, I, just, I already know how to deal with it. You mentioned something about the crossing, um, getting the females tested and all. Would you, um, I would like you to hit right there because a lot of people do not do that. They leave that out and after that, they get, they get their males infected and all of that. I've heard lots of stories, so I'd like you to say something. Before, before I get um, often start services to someone, I normally recommend them to go to uh, my vet, Dr. Connie. So you do a brucella test and then a vaginal swap. So for the vaginal swab is when you're going to get to know if there's an infection in with the female. And with the brucella, let's see, the brucella, how would I put it? Which human, I don't know which human disease to qualify it with. But a female that has brucella, um, there's a big probability she's never going to give birth. And it's also zoonetic. It's trans it can be transferred to a human being. So we mostly advise if a female has a brucella, you just put her down. Transmitted to a human being? Yeah, it's zoonetic. So it can be transmitted to a human being also. Yeah. So um, keeping such a dog is putting yourself at risk and other dogs at risk because it can be transmitted to other dogs through, through saliva and stuff. So lovely viewers um, for, for, for fellow breeders and um, other people who do not do these checks and all of that. Ranzi is advising you to go do everything before. Do all of the checks. Go to um, a recommended vet. He recommended, he recommended Dr. Kone. Big shout outs to Dr. Kone. Yes. And just do all of these necessary, necessary things before you, 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 you get your dogs crossed and all of that. Ranzi will be, will be getting to my favorite part soon where we check out all of the dogs. Today I want the dogs. I know there are lots of dogs right there. So I want them to have a feel of the dogs more no long talks and all of that but then um let me ask you these questions as well first with the boabu if somebody is going to get a boabu what is the person to expect okay so um first of all um you should get go to a very good recommended breeder you should get to meet the parents check out your temperaments if you are cool with it you can proceed from there and also you should at least read a little about the breed on the net to get to know what you are going into um, if it has to be with your lifestyle and stuff and then getting the bravo you should know as a puppy is very adorable it's going to grow very very big and very fast and you should expect drooling 
and you should expect this. <laughs> <laughs> you should expect a lot of drooling. You should expect a lot of drooling, and then you should expect a lot of this. That's because they just like playing, and they are always wagging their tail. <laughs> I also heard from somewhere that if you're not um, really, um, I don't know how to put it. If you don't put your pos- you position yourself as the alpha very well, they can take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you always have to be the alpha. That's as soon as the dog starts showing certain behaviors, you have to put a stop to it. You shouldn't say, "Oh, it's a puppy." When it goes, it will stop. What it starts with practicing is what it's going to grow up with. So you have to be firm, a little firm, not harsh, but you should be firm and let the no- the dog know you are the one in position, not him or not her. Yeah. Okay, so I think if somebody is also looking for to get a Rottweiler, it's it's the same as what you mentioned. It's the same thing as what you, uh, what I mentioned earlier on. Just know your lifestyle, how it suits and which beach it suits you. you do your research very well. Research very, very well before getting the dog. You shouldn't go for a Buabu if you're not ready to be dated. <laughs> nice one, well, lovely viewers. You're about to get to my favorite part. But then before I go, I'd like, Ranzi, I'd like you to... um say something to my lovely viewers let's say um there are some i'd like you to say a word of advice to upcoming breeders fellow breeders and all of that and also if you like to leave your final message as well okay so what i'd like to say to upcoming breeders is what i say <laughs> breeding is is as fun it's interesting but first and foremost what you have to do is just love the dog don't see the dog as a business at first just love the dog and then you would be happy you wouldn't be disappointed in so many things because there are a lot of disappointments in there. So just love the dog. Be happy with the dog you have. And then just take it slowly. And then always, 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 always um, contact people if you encounter problems. Some, I am, let's say there are some good vets around that are always open 24-7. You can call them anytime you have a problem. And there are also good bridges that are we are always open for upcoming people just to come and come and learn because when i started i also went to people's house to learn so i can't keep what i learned from them all alone so i'm also open for people you can just come and then we will talk wow, 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 wow. nice one this is coming from the boss man of mass rot kettle i'm sure you love today's interview now we're about to get to my favorite but we check out the dogs if you want to link up with mass rot kennel the number is on our screens the number is on our screens just give him a call for stud services for puppies just link up advice and everything but then ranzi before we get to my favorite part our proud sponsor eminent dog feed has this um giveaway for you right here this is from eminent dog feed and puppy milk There's also poppy milk right here. There's also poppy milk right here from Eminent as well. And also a couple of other items as well. So this is from Eminent Dog Feed to Mashrod Kettle right here. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm all pleased. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, well, lovely viewers. Big shout outs to Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk for this. Lovely viewers, don't go anywhere. We are getting to my favorite part. We are checking the dogs. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Don't go anywhere. We get to my favorite part. We check out the dogs. Looking for a complete balanced and highly nutritious feed for your dogs? Then your answer is here. Feed Eminent. Carefully composed and filled with a high level of protein of animal origin, Eminent Dog Feed provides your dogs with the adequate amount of energy to keep them in the perfect condition. Contact Eminent Dog Feed on 0244-820-350. Looking for quality? Feed Eminent. Welcome back from the break. We are still at Mashrot Kennel and the location is Dansuman in the greater Accra region of Ghana. And now we're getting to my favorite part where we check out the dogs. So follow me as we check out all of the dogs right here at Mashrot Kennel. Whoa. Okay, so we are inside now and then um, Ranzi, we'll start with this beautiful boy right here. Can you tell us something about this dog? That's 
After I Jack, he was born and bred in Ghana here from um, Dr. Kenny, uh, Dr. Annie, okay. Aphrodite Kendo. So that's him, Aphrodite Jack. His appraisal score is 83%. 83%, wow. He's a, he's a lovely boy. He's a lovely boy. And wh- what do you like about him? <laughs> Such dog. <laughs> the only thing I like about him is he, he likes to meet females. He like he likes to mount anything, like anything. That's the, that's the only thing I like about him. <laughs> so all of the meals here are available for study, right? Them are available for study. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice one, lovely viewers. Let, let's check out this beautiful boy right here. This beautiful boy right here. Okay, Ranzia, what about this lovely girl right here as well? She's, she's also um, Aphrodite Hurricane, and she's from. Oh, she's also from Doctor Annie. <laughs> I think most of my bubbles are from Doctor Annie. Yeah. Nice one, nice one. And how, how old is she as well? Just two years. Yeah. She will be three in September. She's also two years. Yeah. Two years and. They are all two years. Um, she will turn three in September. Nice one, lovely viewers. That's this beautiful girl right here as well. And then there's also another one here as well. She's a very, she's a very stubborn one, and she's Aphrodite Nala, okay. also from Doctor Annie. Wow. And in fact, the two of them are little mates okay. from okay. the same, okay. mother, same father. Yeah. Okay. Nice one, lovely viewers. Check out this beautiful female right here as well beautiful 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 we are still at mashrot kennel we are still at mashrot kennel right here at dan so so we move on to the next dog so that's that's messy too the famous messy too okay. that, that's the, the old chunk of the kennel he, he's he's getting to eight years eight years now wow eight years and he's still he's still producing he's a very good producer his puppies will be around. We we'll, we'll get to see them. We we'll get to see them. And what do you like about uh, Messi as well? Very compact, mm-hmm. very obedient, wow. well trained. Huh? I think Carlos, Carlos did a great job with him. Yeah, I, I got him from Carlos too. Nice one right there. Okay, so we move on to the next dog. That's the famous Galaxy House of Natalie. That's the first dog you got. Dog I got. We are currently having some skin issues with her. We are treating her after she gave birth with Messi, and she's also seven years old. She's also seven years old. Also seven years old. Yeah. The oldest in the kennel. In the kennel, yeah. She's the oldest in the kennel. Wow, and I think this is the dog you brought for the appraisal. That's the dog I brought for the appraisal. He looks extra large right here. It's easy for him to put on weight because he eats a lot. <laughs> I'd like you to introduce him to my lovely viewers as well. Okay, so he's Guazamani Zik, and then he's from South Africa. Has an appraisal score of 84.5. Yeah. And what, what do you like about him as well? He's masculine, very energetic, and... He's just majestic, like just. That's what I love you as Very stubborn, like the stubbornness so far. Always wants to get out, breaks the cage, cause he's strong. <laughs> nice one, lovely viewers. Let's check out this lovely boy right here. And then there's also another friend here as well. What about our lovely friend here too? So this girl is from uh, Mabi Skenu. Mabi is located at Taifa. And she also has an appraisal score of 83. She was born in Berlin, Ghana. She was raised as a puppy. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely viewers. Check out, check out this female. This female is also two years. Yeah, she, no, she's three years. She's three, three. three years now. Okay. Yeah, she's three years now. Lovely viewers. Check out this beautiful, this beautiful female right here at Mashrot Kennel. Mashrot Kennel right here. Okay, so we move on to the next dog. What about our lovely friend here as well? Um, she is pretty. And pretty from Osaka back, and she's from Serbia. She came to us when she's two. Now she's six years old. 
<laughs> she doesn't look like she is. <laughs> six years old. A six year old Rottweiler. Yeah, she's six years old. So, for how long have you been having it? She came to us since she was one and a half. So we've had her for almost five years now. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. What do you like about her too? Oh, Pretty is very nice. And she's she's quite friendly to who she wants to be, and then she's a little aggressive. Okay. Wow, lovely viewers. Check out, check out Pretty right there. Check out Pretty right there. Okay. Okay, and I think um, this is Lesnar right here. That's the main man of the kettle. That's the main man of the kettle. <laughs> I think you've already introduced him. He needs no introduction again. And what about these puppies? So these are puppies from Lesnar and then Aphrodite Nala. The Brindle one is a puppy I bought from Dr. Annie recently. But these two are the ones I raised from Lesnar and Aphrodite Nala. They are heading towards six months now, all of them. Yep. They are all not available for new homes. The male is available for a new home, but the female I'm keeping her. Okay, 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 okay. Nice one, lovely viewers. Okay, Ranzi, and what, what about these beautiful puppies right here as well? These are two lovely female puppies from Galaxy House of Natalie and Messi. The old man and the old woman. They gave us two. They gave us some lovely puppies, and I decided to keep those two. Okay. Just to find out. So these two are not available for new homes. Not available for new homes. They are, they are, they are for the kennel. <laughs> nice, so a lovely viewers. Let, let's check out these beautiful puppies right here. Let's check out these beautiful puppies right here from. Mashrot Kennel. Okay, dog lovers, so this is what we have for you today on GH Dog TV. Today we visited Mashrot Kennel, and I'm sure you love today's episode. Yes, today we visited a Rottweiler and Bobo Kennel. In case you want to link up with GH Dog TV, pick the number on our screen 055-328-4056 just give us a call if you want us to visit your kennel you want to advertise on our show just pick our number and give us a call and then you can also follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook instagram and twitter at dog blogger and if this is also your first time of watching us kindly subscribe to our channel for more amazing dog content and this program was proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and puppy milk you want the right dog feed for your dog just link up with them 0244-820-350 0244-820-350 my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger i'm sure you love today's episode catch you another time gh dog tv your number one tv for all dog lovers